Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimmy, if you're new here. Today, we are working on episode 42 of my personal save file. If you missed last episode, we had baby Braylon age up. She is now a... She is now a toddler. If you also missed the fact that Bear aged up as well, he is now an child. And then, of course, you know, we had the university we were doing. We did the term paper. We started planting some plants. We had the spell casting, doing some spell casting. We had pictures with, you know, the dad and Bear. And then we had pictures with the mom and Bear and the kids. And it's a lot. We had a lot of pictures taken. And then we had a fire last episode because Neve was coming back from hell, I guess, because she set the living room on fire in there and made her fire place catch fire in her room with the rug on. So fixed that problem, turned off the fireplace. Um, but other than that, we got everything taken care of. This episode, we're about to have a funeral in three hours. So we will be having her funeral finally. They finally announced that she's going to have a funeral. So she will be having that. She's getting everyone ready for the funeral today. She wants to get in like a little small nap in because she kind of needs one. And he needs to get a nap in too. But he just wants to help his parents out, you know? So I understand that. This is his grandpa's grave right here. And I bet you he's sad for that too. How about you take a nap in your, your, dad, your mom and dad's bed? Just take a nap. This little bean has to use the bathroom. Can she do, do anything with the thing? She can. That's cute. Bok Bok the Roosty. Oh, I gotta see this. She is too precious, though. She definitely got her daddy's face, for sure. But that's so cute. Alright, so. We took money out to pay the bills, because she's gotta pay bills. Alright, it's time to start the funeral service. Who's this? Caterer. Okay, so I don't have to do that. Alright, whoa. Everyone sat down. Holy crap. Did we miss it? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, these girls have got to go. Their outfits are really, really glitchy. I guess we've done the eulogy or something because it's not letting me do anything else. Okay, first off, we have to discipline. It's too calm. Let's hug it out if I'm making a mess. Cause I feel like he's making a mess because he's upset about losing his grandma or something. Yeah, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be his reason. Everyone here can mourn. She's like, I know, bro. I miss her too. Even her eyeballs are way up in his hair. But don't let it take away from the fact that she's gone. Let's just do this little switcheroo. She's like, I love her too, bro. I understand. All right, well, this is over. All right, so we got peaceful closure. The funeral service was a success. Nothing will be erased from the memory of the loved ones in their hearts, but at least for now, your sim can try to move on from this loss and again allow himself happiness again. It won't be easy at first, but it will be hard. It will be especially hard, but you cannot allow yourself to feel guilty about getting back to living and enjoying life. That's what they would have wanted to After all, all Sims who attended the funeral service now received a peaceful moodlet that will help them move on. Now we can all go home. She like, Grandma would have loved you. You have no idea. And then of course, you know, blend in the background there. All right, so we're all home. We're all going to go to bed. It's been a long day. You know, they're missing the grandma. They're missing sleep. He needs to go use the bathroom, but he's going to go to sleep. You are not trying for baby right now. Why are you swimming? Get out of the water for you end up killing yourself. That's gonna be like the end of that freaking legacy right there. <laughs> All right, go upstairs and you can go to sleep. And your sister is hungry, so I'm gonna give her something to eat before she goes to bed. Oh, before I forget, let me also put all that food I stole in here. Hopefully, it didn't spoil. 40 some minutes, four hours. Just put all that food up in there. <laughs> Yeah, I stole some food from the, the funeral. I mean, it's my grandmother's funeral, so I'm going to steal some food to feed my babies, you know? You didn't do your homework, and you do that for cool, too. Mom and you are both to be doing homework together. Or she's going to go upstairs and do it at the desk. That, that's also great, sure. And we have him in here doing his homework with his mom. That's sweet. She's back from class, so she needs to work on her next her next class, which is in... Oh, class. <laughs> 
Go to that one, and you, then when you get back, you have to work on your other homework. I'm so proud of her. She didn't do so much in so little time. You know what I mean? Like, she's sitting there going through the death of her mom. She's at a funeral. She's raising her kids. The only thing about the Sims thing I don't like is the aging system. I wish they fixed it a whole lot more. Because I feel like going from toddler to child is very drastic, especially for a death. Like, she just died yesterday and her child became, her toddler became a child. It was like four year difference. Like, you don't wait four years to bury your mother. So, it's really weird. I don't like the aging system at all. I don't think he's really that hungry, but I'm gonna let you both eat. Can you eat it for a squirrel? Thank you. And I'm thinking for something to put to remember her by, I definitely want to put a picture of the family, when they were all growing up. You know what? Let's give her one last goodbye before you go. She's like, Mom, I'm gonna let you go now. Last day of classes today. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys what I made. This is what I made for the graveyard. I wanted to be more of what they are. They're like cherries and lemons. And that's what we have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.